Hello everyone, I've got some time to spend with this collection, yes! And today I'm going to go through and I'm going to rank all 14 games and I think you're really going to be surprised on uh, what I have here to say. So stay tuned, let's check it out! I'm just hanging out, you know, just chilling with this dummy behind me here. Nothing special. I'm Warren Davis and you're watching the Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. Welcome, fellow Evercadians and Nurture Enthusiasts. You're watching the Evercade Effect, and I am Richard Kildish 9! And today, we are going to go ahead and go through all 14 games! Yeah! And instead of just going through a traditional ranking of 14, from the least favorite to one to being my favorite, I'm going to give each individual game a letter grade, and you'll be able to see the progress as we go along. That's gonna do it justice, because we do have some fantastic games, and we do have some stinkers, <laughs> and I wanna make sure it's fair. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, I really wanted to like this game. I mean, the graphics are good, the sound is good, the controls are good. However, <laughs> for me, it just it doesn't work. You go around on these ramps, and you have to dodge things, and kill things out of the way. It just moves really too fast. And while the controls are solid, it just feels like it's difficult to get out of the way. Maybe that's part of the game. I know some people may really like this, but for me, I was just disappointed. I do like shoot 'em ups I was expecting something completely different. However, this game was fun to experience, and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Alright, so where does Alley Cat fall on the tier list? While the game is definitely fully playable, no issues with the controls, I just don't get it. <laughs> So, for me, it's a D. Moving on to Battle Valley. So, I really, really wanted to like this game. I really did. But see how I'm all the way to the far right. I hate how when you have to scroll, you have to be all the way to the right like that. I have not played another side-scrolling game that does this. It makes absolutely no sense. It's irritating. And to try to turn around, sometimes one button works. Sometimes you have to press left. This game <laughs> is just totally fakata. I really wanted to like it, but uh, yeah, it's just not fun. The controls are horrible. As I always say, controls are king. If you like this game, that's great. But for me, this game just totally sucks. This game just, uh, as I said, I don't know where to begin with the controls. I don't like how you have to keep going on the right hand side for it to scroll. This game just isn't fun. This may be an upset, but for me, this game is an F. We have Gateway to Abshai. So this game, I don't think it's the best game in the world. I don't think it's the worst game. I've spent a little more time with it. I don't like the wonkiness of how you have to switch between your sword and keys and all that. Seems kind of weird. I understand this is coming from a computer to a console. And this game is just okay for me. It's a, you know, I don't think it's a horrible by any means, but I don't think it's as hyped up as some people do. That may be an upset with that said, if you like this game, I think it's great. But yeah. This game is just uh, it's just maybe just, just just average for me. It just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I, I think it's fun to play, uh, but there definitely are better games of this type out there. Gateway to Abshai. There's definitely some fun to be found here. Definitely a learning curve and a little bit of wonkiness with the controls. How you have to switch between your various different items and attack. Well, however, I don't think this is the worst game or the best game on the cart. For me, this is just a C. impossible mission holy crap so <laughs> that's the name of the game this is an impossible mission for me the controls were just a little bit frustrating it was just difficult to get into i don't think the game is horrible i'm sure there's fun to be had but boy oh boy this is really going to take some practice i do like the dialect looking robots i think it's neat that you can search for items and you can turn off the computers but man uh this game it's just i for me it's just i don't think it's a super great as a Maybe some people claim it is to be. If you like this game, that's fine. But for me, this just really doesn't do it for me. It's, you know, this game, it, it, it was just all right. Definitely not worst in the collection. Mission Impossible. I know this game is beloved by all. <laughs> but uh, for me, it was just a little bit frustrating on the controls. However, I do see how there's definitely some fun to be have here. I don't think this is the best game or the worst game. Again, this is just about, you know, a little bit below average here for me. It's a C.
I hate your Alpha. I've heard it's compared to being a Defender clone. It's nothing like Defender. If you're wanting Defender, prepare to be disappointed. I don't like how there's a split screen. There's there's either a second player or another dude down there. And then we have our warp gate and all that other junk. Too much real estate is taken up. It's way too fast. I have no clue what you're supposed to be doing. There's just too much going on. This game was just really not fun. It looked like it would be good, but for me this was just a complete disappointment. Probably one of the least games that I like on this collection. If you figured out how to play it and you like this game, that's totally cool. I respect it. This one is definitely not for me. It's a hard pass. Uh, this game is definitely way too fast, how it scrolls throughout the entire screen. I don't like how it's split screen. I have no idea what I'm doing. This game just is not fun. Uh, for me, this is, yeah, this is an F. Moving on to Jumpman, yeah! Definitely one of the better games of the carts. I'll forgive it for getting past the annoying screen where you have to use the virtual keyboard. Once you get in here, it's very fun, very Donkey Kong-like. Controls feel a little bit stiff, and sometimes getting up the ladders are a little bit awkward, especially if you're used to burger time. And when you die, the music is annoying, and I think the music is annoying in general. However, the gameplay is a lot of fun. It's fast. It's challenging. I've really been enjoying this game on the on the cart, of course. Uh, it's just it's unique in itself. And uh, yeah, I definitely uh, highly recommend this game. Not much more to say, except that it's definitely a, a good jump and pick up and play fun game. So let's talk about Jumpman. This game is extremely fun. It's Donkey Kong like. Despite the controls being a little bit stiff and the music being annoying, uh, for me that keeps this from a, from an A or higher tier. Definitely think this is an above average uh, fun game that I keep going back to. For me, Jumpman is a solid B. Lee, my favorite game on the cart. This game is excellent, the controls are good, the gameplay is good. I should go around and collect these lanterns and avoid these ninjas and that, yeah, green <laughs> super wrestle person. It is just so much fun. I am really enjoying this game. I wish all the games on this cart were of this quality and this much fun. Uh, hands down, this game is just so good. It gets challenging as you keep moving along. And if you do get knocked down, then you lose a life. But you can get knocked down several times by the ninjas that come after you. However, there are some things that can instantly <laughs> kill you. Some weird type of barriers or whatnot. But yeah, I highly recommend this game. I love it, for sure. The best game on the cart. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and talk about my favorite game on this cart. This is Lee. It has decent controls, fun objectives. I don't really have any issues with this game. No weirdness with the keyboard or anything else. I am giving Lee a solid A. It's time to talk about Marauder. First, I just want to say that the music for this game is fantastic. The controls feel solid. However, my biggest beef with this game is the objects in the way, such as the moon craters, that bridge, the pipes, trees. Typically in shoot 'em ups, you don't have all these objects like this go around with a limited play field. And then, of course, you have that lake in the way. Otherwise, if it wasn't for that, this game would, would have made it to an A on the list. But for me, and the level of difficulty just makes this game not as fun. Maybe I need to get better at it. <laughs> in the meantime, this game is just more frustrating than fun. If you figured this out and you enjoy this game, that's perfectly fine too. Alright, Marauder. So this game, it does have good controls, but I don't like the clunkiness and feeling boxed in to the game. Uh, I just it, it feels really awkward to try to dodge and move things around. So for me, uh, while this game isn't horrible, it's not the best. And uh, also due to its difficulty, for me, it's just, you know, around a little bit of average. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a C. Oh boy, Stormlord. Another game that I really, really wanted to like with its weird and wacky visuals. But I tell you, my god, the play control is so stiff and bad. And just how you shoot your weapon and you just die way too easily. Things come at you. This game is just not fun at all. It's weird and wacky. <sighs> Again, I wanted to like it more, but it just it wasn't wacky enough to hold my interest. I do love the weirdness and all that, but still the play control is just horrible. The difficulty in this game is horrible. Everything is horrible. Um, 
And yeah, this really isn't that much better than the Genesis port. Stormlord! While this game is a little bit crazy and interesting visuals, I'm just really not into the controls. It is too easy to die. And uh, yeah, again, this game just doesn't do it for me. This may cause an upset, but I'm, <laughs> I'm giving this game a D. I just, uh, not really into it. So here's the thing. I understand the original Commodore 64 had a keyboard. However, this game does not translate well. And yes, I know that I'm impatient. I'm not a huge fan of sports games, but if I can't even get into the game by just using the normal controls right away, what does that say? Trying to get in here, trying to use the keypad, was so intuitive. Ugh, it wasn't even worth my time. I was just so frustrated here, even to try to capture footage. So I'm sorry um, if I can't even get in and play the game. Then this game must not be that great or worth playing. I know that might be an unfair, but hey, you just have to go ahead and roll with it. Okay, let's talk about street baseball. For me, as you can see, I, you know, with this game, it's just it's too difficult. So I have to use the virtual keyboard, too many inputs just to get into the game itself. I really don't have the patience, and I know this may cause an upset, but but for me, yeah, this game, yeah, this game is is, is a solid F. I'm sure there's many there's many better um, sports games or particular baseball games out there, and I just don't like the finagleness to have to get into the game. Call me impatient. Okay, here's another good game in this collection. This I had a lot of fun, despite the hitboxes being off. And, uh, yeah, it's easy to, <laughs> to die and bump into the terrain. But, hey, once you get used to it, it's really not too bad. The bonus levels are fun. And, overall, this game wasn't frustrating. I wish we had more unique little games like this on this cart. But it is what it is. So I can definitely recommend this game. I had lots of fun. I plan on revisiting and going back and playing this game more. Definitely enjoyed this a lot more than Marauder. It has some unique game mechanics, like they're opening the, the doors or barriers and getting shields. Yeah, this is definitely a, a solid, fun game. So, let's talk about Subterranea. The game is definitely fun. It's kind of an R-type wannabe. And while the hitboxes are a little bit clunky, definitely f uh, fun to be had here. I like this game. It's, a, it's above average. For me, this game is a solid B. <sighs> now I have to talk about summer games. It's no secret that I really don't like these games. It's the control just feels so... Ooh, and to get into the game is frustrating using the keyboard. I never feel like I know what I'm going to do once I get into the game. It's not simple like track and field. You know, for Nintendo, I just... I don't like these type of games. Sure, you got better graphics, but it's just, again, I press buttons. I don't know what to do. Yeah, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> that's, that's exactly... How I feel about the game and oh yeah if you're wanting something more fun just go ahead and play like the Nintendo or play some other sports games if this doesn't do it for me if you like it that's cool but yeah now let's talk about summer games <laughs> as you can see here this may cause an upset uh, you know for me the graphics are better than the Codemasters collection the controls are still are still awful I, st I still feel clueless I still don't know what to do in this game. I just, I super dislike it. So for me, yeah, Summer Games is a solid F. So if you thought you were going to get a Commodore 64 version of Rampage, prepare to be super disappointed. The controls are so sluggish. I feel like this freaking thing is running like at 10 frames a second. My God, was this game a huge disappointment. I really wanted to like this game, but you know, it just got awful. Look at that. Look how long it takes to move. Godzilla doesn't move that slow. This game is just so bad. This is maybe my most hated game on the collection. This is just an absolute stinker. It so had the potential to be better. This might even be the worst game in the entire Evercade collection. I don't know. You tell me. Sorry if this is an upset, but this game is just god awful. Let's talk about, you know, a monster movie. So this game in the trailer, it really, really looked neat. I really wanted to like this game. I wanted this game just to be a good, solid title, but just due to the painfulness of getting into the game, not only that, once you are in the game, the sluggishness, I was expecting, you know, to control Godzilla, to have it be like Rampage. It's nothing like that. The controls are horrible. The game is horrible. I'm giving this a solid F. Ranking video, so yeah, I have to play this game. Even winter game. So yeah, if you haven't guessed by now, I pretty much enjoy this game as much as I do summer games, 
0.0, not fun at all, all the exact same issues, but hey, it's winter, yeah! No, that's what you're thinking initially, but yeah, for me, I just really don't like this game. Another stinker on the collection. I don't know what that weirdness is that it's doing if it's just like seeking through. <laughs> but in the next video, it's kind of acute the first time to hear the, the theme play of your country in like one bit. But then afterwards, it gets annoying. This whole game is annoying. All right. Uh, and uh, the last game to wrap this up here, Winter Games. Same thing with Summer Games. It's just, it wasn't fun for me on the Codemasters collection there. It's not fun for me now. I, uh, I really I really dislike this game, so I'm giving it also a solid F. All right, Whew. got through all those games. No, but seriously, if you stuck with me this far in the video and you watch the whole thing, I appreciate it. To put this video together did take me some time, not only going through and playing all the games to where I could get a good feel for it, but also the editing to get everything the way that I want it. So if you're still here, thank you so much. So for me, exploring this collection and the discovery yeah, it was worth picking up, and I did really, really enjoy it for that. As far as where does this rank amongst the other Atari Age consoles and computers, for me, this definitely is not as good as the Atari Collections 1 or 2. It's better than Intellivision 2, but not better than Intellivision 1. Of course, if you hold nostalgia for this, like I do the Atari Collections, this is going to be way up on the list. And the other important thing that I wanted to say is these are just my thoughts and opinions. If I rated a game low and it's your favorite game and you enjoy those games, my ratings does not diminish or take anything away from that. You do you. You enjoy that game. This is just my thoughts and opinions that I wanted to go ahead and get out. And I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Go ahead. Let me have it. You know, I can take it. <laughs> if you think that I did a game a disjustice, or if you know, you agree with me, great. And if you're watching this video and you have not yet liked, commented, or subscribed, please join me. Please be part of the Evercade Nation, join my channel, subscribe. It really, really helps me out. Whoop. Check out some of my other videos. Check out my secondary channel with me and Retro Rich from Bacon Ice Cream Productions. That also helps me out as well. Thanks, everyone, and bye bye